Hi there, I'm Brad and I'm with Monero Marine and we're here in the shop where we build our boats. We build from 21 to 30 feet and behind me is our largest model, it's a 298. And the video series we're going to do on this is stretching this boat. Uh, I've done a few other videos on stretching, um, this one's a little bit different. Uh, so we're going to figure it out as we go. A little bit about the boat. The owner purchased this boat, uh, I would say about five years ago. It's a 2001 Monero 298. It's powered with twin Volvo KAD32 diesel engines with the DPS uh, legs here. So the first thing we're going to do is, well, we've already done it. We've pulled the trim tabs off. Uh, so the idea is to uh, extend the hull on either side and we're also uh, putting an extended swim grid on. So we've made that already. Uh, that's a standard option for us and it brings a grid out close to two feet. Uh, so the next step is to mock up the pods that we're going to build. All right, so they've laid up the uh, tray. Now this is going to sit in here. Uh, so it's all taped off. You can see where it's going to be cut. So it's going to lower the surface down to this point. So two, three inches or so. Uh, so they're ready to cut it and then they're going to fit this piece in. The cutting is done. So we've got the piece removed. We have it sitting over there. That is garbage. And this is our insert uh, pan where the new extended swim grid will sit and the top will be flush with the uh, existing old swim grid. So we're just still fitting everything uh, before it gets uh, permanently mounted and glassed in. Back here you can see where we've cut out uh, a lot of the fiberglass where it will get uh, glassed. What we have here is the hull extension mold for our 298 model. We don't have a hull mold for a full 298. We have a mold for a 27. So we take this mold and we lay it up and we actually join it to a 27 hull. So what we have in this corner here is we've mocked up the hull extension we're doing on the 298 to extend it beyond 298. So there'd be a pod on each corner. So there's your starboard corner and uh, then we'll have one on the port. We've determined our size now of these pods and created the mold. So the mold consists of four sides of half inch MDF. We've uh, sprayed the surface with the tooling gel coat and or it's a sanding gel coat sanded it polished it waxed it uh, so the four sides of the mold and then the bottom is utilizing this mold to get that shape and there's some a, a streak in there uh, so they put the plasticine around the uh, corners to create the bit of a radius and they're ready to spray it. All right, so we finished the layup of the starboard side uh, pod. Here it is. And uh, now they're, they're just, uh, they can sand it uh, and uh, finish it. If I turn it around, see inside uh, it's got a little bit of reinforcement in there uh, so now they're uh, preparing the uh, mold to do the port side and behind me you can see the, the mold there all right we put the pod in place uh, we're fitting it you see we had to put a couple of notches in just to get it up in place so it's sitting flush with the hull bottom and this is our template of the swim grid and you can see there's a big hole here so we're uh, figuring out how we're going to fill this and it looks like we're just going to extend the swim grid 
around to ca cover it up. This is the port side now. They've positioned it to, to lay this up. They have used the same uh, pieces of wood as the other side. They just flipped them around. I've dressed up today because I'm going to the boat show to sell boats. But uh, I have a few minutes I can tell you about this project here. So uh, we've done the port side, made that pod here, and we've installed both of them. They've been bolted to the transom and glassed on the inside to seal out all the water. We don't want any water getting in here. And we've put the trim tabs back on these pods here. The tray has now been pasted into place permanently and glassed, still sticky, on both sides, the top and the bottom. Okay. The joint has now been filled, sanded, and gel coated all the way around uh, and then uh, polished. Here you see uh, they've added uh, some glass. This will be glassed to the underside of the swim grid so it's totally sealed so water can't get in underneath and into these pods. Um, and it'll be sealed all around here after the swim grid is in place. Here we see the underside of the swim grid. And uh, you see some green stuff uh, and some wood. So the edge of the tray where the swim grid sits is along this line here. So the swim grid will be sitting on these three points onto the tray and they will be mounted uh, from underneath, bolted through into here. So the, we want the swim grid to sit flush with the uh, swim grid on the, on the boat Around, around the edges here. So what we did was we used a piece of plastic we put down onto the boat and then we added some paste onto here on each of these points and then we placed the swim grid in, in position and made sure it was flush all around and then this paste takes up all the the gaps. Uh oh, phone call. So now it will sit. Once it's cured, it will sit nice and flush without the gaps. Because if this wasn't here, and once you start tightening it, it's going to suck it down and it'll sit too low. Now, this extension here gives it the extra strength. And also, there will be a ladder that's positioned under he underneath here. Uh, and these two holes is where we put our vents. What we have here are the plugs for the fill-in swim grid, which caps off the, the pods that we made. It fills in the hole. So we've made these out of MDF. And uh, here is the, the swim grid extension that goes in here. And then back here is our original swim grid. So we've, we've gelled them with the, the sanding gel. And then they've been uh, polished. And they've polished and sanded through some of the gel. That doesn't matter. Uh, it's now super glossy enough to pull off a mold. And if we come over here, from these, we created a mold. So we started with an existing kind of a flat mold that we use for miscellaneous parts. And then we placed these on there. And we laid up all around the perimeter of them and created a flange, which you see here. Here's the flange. They pulled that out pulled the mold out of the plug, the plug we don't need anymore. And now it's, you can't see it anymore, but we, we put plasticine around the perimeter to create a, a radius. And then it was brushed with gel coat 
And this is the first layer, the skin layer of fiberglass on this one. And on this one, they've done the, the looks like another layup plus the, the wood is in place. And they're going to be, I'm not sure if that's probably the only wood that's going on in this one, uh, as well as this. We've pulled the pieces out of the mold now, and they've done a little bit of shaping to finish the edge to make it fit better and resprayed around the edge in here doesn't matter because it's uh, won't be seen and on top it will uh, get uh, non-skid sprayed so we'll do that later we've cut a hole to for access we have to be get inside and then it fits just like that okay our next step we mounted this permanently, this main swim grid extension. So we fasten it from underneath. We use sealant on those mounting points. We got it flush with the existing grid here all around. Then we mounted this permanently using the, that green paste. Uh, so all around the perimeter there and this is our access to get in inside there and once that was uh, all done so we did both sides uh, so once we did that then we had to seal the joint all around with silicone so no water can get inside here or inside just the crack all the way around because there's just no way for it to drain out uh, so after we did that we glassed underneath so the joint all around is glassed. So we glassed all around the perimeter here and so it's all sealed, no water can get in and then just taped off and gel coated all underneath. And here's the ladder that we mounted. It just pushes in and drops down and it stores nicely in place there so it's just lag bolted with six bolts right through the top and the last thing is our vents that I cut uh, on my CNC out of a uh, starboard and that just prevents uh, air from getting trapped underneath the swim grid so that is pretty much it we just got to clean up uh, the area and paint the anti fallant on the pods and we are ready to put it in the water so thanks for watching my video